Okay, we've got the GE French door bottom freezer fridge unit. Um, having a problem with the refrigerator at 57 degrees. The freezer is working perfectly, but the fridge is hot. And uh, the other symptom on this was that the crisper, uh, that bottom drawer of the food in there was frozen. So a little bit weird. I did a little research and found out that it is the fan motor uh, that is, needs to be replaced. This is the evaporator fan. I'll uh, have a link in the notes on where to where you can buy this from repair clinic and uh, just need to replace this. Okay, first we're going to disassemble the uh, deli drawer down here and that's going to be with screws here on both sides and then we'll take this uh, it's going to be a total of uh, six screws back here one two three four there's going to be one behind this little piece here and there's a screw there and then that's where your motor is plugged in and then we're going to go ahead and just take this one off as well just because this will loosen this middle piece up so we can get to it a little bit easier. Okay, once we have our screws out, see this uh, deli tray just lifts right off. off there. And then we'll also, we're going to need to take these two guide rails off of each side. Uh, just held in by one screw here and then there's a little tab back there which we just remove back right there now when you uh, this is the adjustment for the crisper deli tray control so go ahead and just pull that off we're going to take that side off here too okay so we've got uh, the bottom crisper drawer out uh, i just took those guides off the side there there's two screws holding that and then we've got one two three screws here a screw there and there's also a screw behind this little unit where it plugs in uh, and a fan going to be right behind here. So this kind of lifts out and out, revealing a frozen coil here because this fan is not working. So let's pull the fan out here. Here's our fan unit. Uh, not, not spinning and blowing all this cold air up. So that explains why the crisper air comes out over here into the uh, into the bottom deli tray there, keeping it pretty crispy. Okay, so we got the motor out here, and there's a little clip up here that holds the wires in there, so you can just pull the wires out. And then to get this out, see these two tabs, one on each side here, just squeeze that, and this whole, this whole unit comes out. So let's get the new motor. Here's the old motor, um, and you can see this is uh, model number WR60X10356. Uh, this is the replacement. Uh, pretty, same numbers, except this is a 26033. So, identical motors, they just have some interchangeable serial numbers that work with this one. But as long as you make sure that it's a replacement for 10356, you'll be in, uh, be in good shape. But everything else is uh, identical. Okay, now make sure when you put this motor back in, there's a rubber housing that uh, goes around it. We need to make sure that we get that back in there properly. And it just fits right on there. It needs to go in here with the wires facing out. So a little small indentation here that you can push the wires into. And then there's only one way that this will plug in. So stick that in, plug it in, make sure it's secure. 
and then these wires just uh, push back in here. It's going to take two hands. Okay. And the condensation really takes care of itself in just a few minutes. I mean, you can see that it's already, um, most of the frost is melted off there. So we're ready to put this cover back on. And, you know, the fan will really take care of the rest of that condensation. It may take a, a little while, but once the fan kicks back on, uh, we're going to be fine to... So I'll screw it back in here. Okay, we got all the screws started here. And uh, got to finish tightening these up. So like you're saying there's five screws here. There's one up there that's really not necessary to take off. Uh, although it helps a little bit just to get you some extra wiggle room uh, to move those wires around. All right, so we got all our screws back on. Place this, just clips in there. And then the first thing you want to do is put this back on. This is the uh, controls the how much cold air gets into that lower deli tray and then you put this, this clips into there and then you've got one screw to put in so you'll have one screw on each side we'll do the same thing on this side um, without that airflow thing and get the crisper back in you see now that you've got this attached it moves when you move this it moves the unit back there so before you put everything back together just make sure that that's working so when you get your drawers back in, remember you have one screw on each side here to hold it in. Okay, so when you order this from the repair clinic, it will have some instructions and come with a Cat5 cable. And then this is a, a soft grade uh, upgrade module that we're going to plug in. Now if you go up here on your fridge, right behind the left door, a small grommet there that will show you Cat5 cable. So just plug that in there. Plug the other end here into your unit. Now it's going to do some flashing. There's a there's an orange and a green light and this could take a little while while the green light uh, is flashing to show that there's an upgrade in progress okay now it's in progress the orange light is solid the green light is flashing per instructions and uh, the fridge just shut down uh, which they said to expect um, so it could take up to 15 minutes so let's see how long it takes okay so that took about 12 minutes software update is complete both of the lights, the green and the orange, are lit up. So you can take our cable out. The lights are back on in the fridge. And uh, hopefully we'll see some numbers going down pretty quick here. Okay, so it's been about three hours and um, software is updated. The fan is new. Seems like it's running a lot quieter and it's definitely a lot cooler. So we're down to 43 and uh, should be in the next couple of hours. We'll be down to where we need to be around the 35 range. Um, so there was pretty uh, quick fix. Uh, the part and software, um, pretty easy to, to get in. Uh, good luck.